All right, guys, I can't believe how far along we've come. Uh, today is Friday. We're well into the fall. The year is going to be over before we know it. Uh, today's uh, Power Minute devotional. Uh, by the way, my name is Lena. I run this ministry called Living with Power Ministries. And you've got plenty of, of stuff on our YouTube channel you can check out. But the Power Minute is a resource we have for you that's a one-minute devotional. And today's devotional that I've written for you is called End of Evil. Uh, the verse I'm going to focus on is Revelation 20, verse 10. It says, The devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. Most of us love a good movie where the good guy triumphs over the evil guy. It's like we're hardwired as humans to want to see the end of evil and suffering. It's why so many of us get so discouraged when we look around the world and see all we see is pain. The story of the gospel is good news for a number of reasons. It's good news because through the death of Jesus, we become reconciled to God. But it's also great news because of the promise of future victory over Satan and evil. In Revelation 20.10, we see that the devil who deceived them, that's us, and was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. If you have felt the curse of Satan in your life this week, then this surely is great news. While you might struggle with sin and pain on this side of eternity, there will come a day where the deceiver, the enemy of your soul, will be burned and destroyed forever and evermore. I can't wait for that day. I can't wait to be free of evil forever. I'll tell you guys, the longer I live, the more horrific things we see, and especially in my work with refugees and my work with uh, the ch pediatric ER, that's my training is in pediatric ER. I'm a doctor. I take care of kids who... Um, often un endure unbelievable pain and people who have stories of unbelievable pain. I hate evil and it is uh, going to be destroyed someday. Jesus has already won the victory over Satan by dying on the cross and raising for us. But there's a window of time right now where it seems as if Satan has his way and he does not. He's under the control of God and there is coming a day where he will be destroyed. And until that day, uh, join me in letting the world know that there is a good news. There is a Christ named Jesus who has paid the price for our sins and who longs to give us freedom and hope and abundant life and that someday we will see evil end. And so if you're like me and you can't wait for that day, just click the like button, share this good news with your friends today. Come back on Monday for more Power Minutes and have a great weekend, you guys. Check this out at livingwithpower.org. Plenty of resources for you, plenty of Bible studies. I'd love for you to download what you can free and and, uh, and just uh, keep drawing closer to Jesus. He loves you so much, and so do I. Take care.